months, giving investigators on the Fells case little time to put together enough to actually arrest Steve Carlson for this murder. After re-interviewing witnesses, officers visited Carlson behind bars less than two weeks before he was set to be released. They secured a second DNA sample and noticed his behavior changed once he learned why they were actually there. The FBI made an exception on this cold case and the match was confirmed 10 days before Steve's release from jail. He was arrested as soon as he was released from custody and continuously maintained his innocence. At 43 years old, he was being tried as a juvenile. However, his case was bound over to adult court in January of 2011. Following multiple changes of attorney, as well as multiple motions filed by the defense, the trial finally began in October of 2014, over 30 years after Tina's murder. Given the amount of time that had elapsed since the crime, Family members who still cared worried about where Steve would go if acquitted. They needn't have worried, however, because after deliberating for one day, the jury found him guilty of first-degree murder. The sheer amount of wounds influenced their decision greatly. He received 26 to life at the end of 2014, which he appealed and in 2017 his conviction was knocked down to second degree. The unpublished opinion on the appeal stated that insufficient evidence existed to prove premeditation, saying, quote, "...brutality of a killing cannot in itself support a finding that killer acted with premeditation and deliberation." saying that violence like that, quote, is as consistent with a sudden random explosion of violence as with calculated murder. So many people were profoundly affected by Tina's murder. From the boys who saw her dead body, to the girls who had called her Tina the Tuna at lunch that day, the events of April 5th, 1984 left lifelong scars. Steve's family disintegrated years ago. His older sister moved out, his younger sister became a constant runaway, and her twin faced drug issues of his own. Tina's little brother was scared all the time and didn't sleep for years. He was known as the kid whose sister was murdered. Her biological father harbored shame and guilt for not being a part of her life, while her stepdad always regretted not doing more to keep her on the bus. Tina's mother surely suffered every moment after her daughter was murdered and died from a sudden heart attack on the original day that Steve Carlson's trial was set to begin in 2014. Stephen John Carlson is incarcerated at California Correctional Institution in Tehachapi, California. He was resentenced to 16 years to life for the second-degree murder conviction, and according to the California Department of Corrections, the 52-year-old will become eligible for parole this year in October. For more information on this case, read Murder in Pleasanton, Tina Fells and the Search for Justice by Joshua Sukon. Thanks to Jolene of Hometown Homicide Podcast for suggesting the case for this episode. Find Hometown Homicide wherever you get your podcasts. Be back soon with a brand new episode, so until next time, lovelies, don't be scared. <laughs>